Okay, stem and leaf plot shows the number of sit-ups a group of students did in PE. What is the difference between the number of students who did more than 36 sit-ups and the number of students who did fewer than 25 sit-ups? Now, before we start to solve this equation, we first need to understand what is a stem and leaf plot. For those of you who don't know, a stem and leaf plot is a way to organize data. Now, the method of organizing data in a stem and leaf plot is basically finding a common number between multiple numbers in a set of data. So, one way to think of a stem and leaf plot or imagine it is, as the name suggests, in a stem and leaf fashion or kind of like a plant. So we can imagine a stem of a leaf let's take the number one so the stem represents the number one and on top of the stem there are three leaves now as you can see here the three leaves are three seven and nine so one the stem is basically providing a, kind of like a support or a way for the one and three to connect as you can see from the key here one is the base and three is the number right next to it so thinking of that we can see show that one is the base or the first number and three is the second number three just slides right in next to one because one is the supporting number same with one and seven that becomes 17 one is the supporting 17 just slides right in and same with one and nine that just becomes 19. let's take another one 9-0 what will that be so since 9 is the stem that's the first number or the supporting number and the leaf is 0 it just slides right in next to next to 9 and it becomes the number 90 or the value 90 now using this information we can solve or try to find what these values are the number of students who did more than 36 sit-ups this is um, a symbol to represent greater than by the way and the number of students who did fewer than 25 sit-ups that's also a symbol to represent less than now how do we find numbers that are greater than 36 well one way to do it is to look at the stem of the number we are trying to find 36 is basically the number that we are going to compare to the rest of the stem and leaf plot. So we need to find a number that's close to it or that satisfies this equation. Now, since we're trying to find this stem, we have to look at the stem of 3. Now, we go down the leaf and we see which numbers are greater than 37 and then we start from there and begin our count. So here on this, on this one, we have 31. 32, 35, 35, and 37. Now, it obviously can't be 31, 32, or the two 35s. So, only 37 satisfy this, satisfies this equation so far. So, we begin our count here. For those of you who don't know, satisfy basically means to complete the equation, or it's good. Like, if you see 37 is greater than 36 it's correct so that means it satisfies the equation now we just continue on there and and where the stem and leaf plot ends so we continue all the way down and we end right here now the reason we're ending all the way down instead of here or here or here is because all of these stems are greater than three when they're greater than 3, you know that they're greater than 36. Because if you have 40, even if there was a 0 here, it would still be greater than 36. Because a stem is always greater than 3. Now, since we know how many, what our start and end is, we can start to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now we know how many st students did more than 36 sit-ups, which is 12. Now, using this same 
I guess, process, we can determine how many students did fewer than 25. So, same as before, we need to first find our stem, which is 2. Using that, we need to look at the stem of 2 on the stem and leaf plot. Same as before, we need to find a number that is less than 25. So now going down, it becomes 20, 23, and 26. Now, it can't be 26, so it has to be 23 and all the other numbers. So we start right here. Now, instead of going down, we need to go up because all of the numbers below 2 or 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are all greater than 25, which doesn't satisfy the equation. So we need to go up. So this is all good and this is all good. So we end right here. Now, since we know where our start and end is, we just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now I know the number of students who did fewer than 25 sit-ups is 6. Now, we're not done yet, because we still need to find the difference between these two values. Or, the difference is another way of saying subtraction. Oops. Subtraction. So... All we need to do is just subtract the value of students or the number of students who did more than 36 and the number of students who did fewer than 25. So now we just do simple subtraction, 12 minus 6, which gives us our final answer of 6. As you can see here, that is G.